Many makers commonly create physical prototypes to explore shapes, experience them under different lighting conditions, and get a haptic impression of real materials. This practice helps them to explore ideas by using established crafting techniques. At the same time, 3D modeling software provides higher precision, allows users to correct their mistakes and quickly generate alternative designs. However, creating a digital model from a physical prototype is a cumbersome process that often requires the maker to manually take measurements and recreate the entire digital model from scratch. We introduce ShapeMe, a shape-aware material that closes the gap between physical and digital models. This material can capture its own geometry while being cut by the artist. As the designer works on a physical prototype, our system streams the artist's physical cuts to its digital counterpart in a 3D CAD environment. We propose a novel, material-based sensing technology to capture the shape of a modeling material while being cut by an artist. First, we sample a 2D sheet with spatially distributed line sensors. Each sensor can be cut and determine its length to the point of the cut. The cutting path can then be reconstructed by using common approximation techniques, for example linear interpolation. We propose a capacitive sensing approach to compute the length of a printed sensor. First, we print two line-shaped electrodes on the front and the back of a cuttable substrate, for example paper, forming a weak capacitor. Applying an AC signal on one of the electrodes induces a phase-shifted voltage on the opposite electrode. The peak voltage is proportional to the capacitance of the sensor. Cutting the sensor reduces its capacitance, which results in a voltage drop. We propose a linear prediction model that maps the measured voltage to the sensor's length. By combining all measurements together, we estimate a cutting path. Finally, multiple shape-aware sheets can be attached to modeling material and stacked one on top of the other to form a 3D object. We propose a set of sensor layouts that are optimized for horizontal cuts, circular cuts and central holes. The maker can choose a layout, customize its shape and select the amount of layers with a design toolkit. Once the sensor design is complete, the layout can be exported for fabrication. The length sensors are printed with a rapid and inexpensive inkjet printing method using conductor silver ink. All length sensors share a common back electrode that gets charged with an AC current. Currently, we use cream printing to add a conductive layer on the sheet's backside. We developed the ShapeMe board to conveniently connect and control dense grids of sensors with a microcontroller. The board streams the captured data to our user interface. An architecture student wants to build a house model for his class. He starts with a ShapeAware form core sheet and connects it to our system. After calibrating the sensors, the toolkit streams the shape of the form core sheet to a 3D modeling software, such as Blender. The designer interleaves digital and physical modeling by creating a digital model of a house and then he uses the physical model of a wall to shape it with his cutting tools. The intermediate design is exported to a PDF and printed with a laser cutter. The parts can then be assembled manually. Finally, the student wants to add a roof to the house. He adds the planes to the digital model and produces a shape-aware physical roof with the toolkit. He then adds details by working on its physical model. Unfortunately, he does a mistake while cutting the roof details. Thus, he uses the history tool of the user interface to load a previous version of his design. Finally, he fabricates the corrected part with a laser cutter. The architecture student sends the digital model of the house to Yeo, a befriended landscape artist. Yeo prefers working with real material and uses our toolkit to create a shape-aware modeling cube out of four shape-aware layers. He stacks the layers and connects them to the ShapeMe board. He starts sculpting the landscape model with a cutter. He later uses its digital counterpart to add the house model but realizes that their dimensions are off. Thus. Yeo rescales the landscape until it fits to his friend's house and finally sends the complete installation back to him.